Hello, so we are going to be talking about how prosthesis is made. April is the month of limb loss awareness, so I'm going to be telling you how prosthesis is built. So I got my prosthesis from Ottawa, Kenya after I've paid and my parts have been ordered from Germany. So it starts with physical evaluation and checking whether you are fit enough to use a prosthesis. If you're not, you have to wait a while, and if you are, they will try to check which type of prosthesis you can use. After that, they're going to do some markings, and they're going to take a cast of your stump. And the cast is essentially to ensure that the prosthesis fits you perfectly. It's not too tight, it's not too loose, just perfect for you. That's why every prosthesis is custom made. It has to be built from scratch for you just for you so the measure 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 <laughs> more measurements then more measurement <laughs> The cast is made with a POP, that's plaster of Paris, and once you dip it inside the water, it becomes very impressionable and it just molds to whatever you're trying to make a cast of, so as to get the perfect measurement. Yay! Now the cast is ready and that means they can start making my socket. So this cast is going to be used to make my transparent test socket and it's made from this oven. So here I am wearing my test socket. This test socket is to ensure that the prosthetist can make adjustment and alignment where necessary. Here they're trying to align my processes and they're trying to balance my gait. Once the temporary socket is ready, you're going to go into physiotherapy and you're going to grind and grind and move and move. So here is my prosthesis. I'm sorry, here is my physiotherapist, Rebecca. <laughs> Hi. Now my facial therapy is done, it's time for them to start working on my permanent prosthesis. The permanent prosthesis is made from the cast, from the temporary prosthesis, so you don't have to start measuring it all over again. They don't only transfer all the measurements of the test socket into your permanent socket. And here is the casting room, as you can see. <laughs> and this is Moses smoothing and smoothing and smoothing. And right here is the shiny end product of my permanent cast. And then Moses taught me one or two things about the smoothing of the cast. And here I am trying my hands on a prosthetic cast and it was so fun. <laughs> Thank you Moses. I eventually got an idea of it 
and I was happy. I did my happy dance at some point. <laughs> then we went on to laminating room. Here is our laminating room. And this is the laminating room, and here is Ruda. She's putting a carbon fiber on a stump, stump cast and they're taping it down hi Rhoda I came back to the laminating room after a while and they are almost done laminating so the addition of the carbon fiber is ex essentially what is called the lamination After laminating, they infuse with um, injection mold and this helps to solidify the lamination and the smoothing it and massage it in. This is the end product after scoring it, the other parts of the prosthesis. Then they cover it with this foam and the skin socks and this is the end product. Finally, the process is, on, is complete and I could move around and my leg looks so natural and i walk so naturally and till date you would never know i'm an amputee until i show you or i tell you myself and that's a huge flex thank you please state in the comment section what you want me to do for you for next week and i'll try my best to give you that bye